what's going on right now is the first phase of the steel installation. So in order to put the crown truss on the building, we need to build and do the four corners, if what's called X-bracing. This is the X-bracing that takes a lot of the, 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 uh, the strain and, and a, lot of the, of the, uh, a lot of the force from, from when that big crown truss goes up that you see on the rendering that's out in front on the fence. So very, very, very large component of the uh, structural steel that's going in. Once they get done with the X-bracing, you'll see there's some big steel on the lower part of the corners. That gets encased in concrete. Crane. 21 trucks have arrived so far with that big, big crane that's on wow. its way. If you over my right shoulder, you'll see that there's some big yellow um, crane sections on the, uh, we call the landing area or the, uh, actually the, the yard, um, the construction site. It will take weeks for us to assemble that crane. There's probably another 60 tractor trailer loads of crane parts yet to show up to Syracuse. It's about 85 to 87 loads all in tail with the entire crane that's coming. It's an 1100 ton crane, very, very large, very, very large crane. Um, the boom is, I believe, about 580 feet in height, so it's very, very large. That crane that you can see over the gates is a 280 ton crane just to put together the big crane that's coming. We had to form a big, big crane pad. Um, we drove about 40 some odd caissons to hold the weight of that crane. The crane is very, very heavy. We built the whole front of the dome up to, to actually hold that crane. The stairs that take you up to the gate C area are intact. Well, that's where the bulk of our students will go during the day, so the impact on campus is minimal, and that's where our fans will come in and the visiting team will come in the same way as well. There'll be a very large crane pad up by gate N, E, and P. Um, again, we're still designing that. The crane that's going there is about an 800 ton crane. That crane will also be in place through some of the football season, and then when that corner of the building of the Crown Trust has been erected, it will move over to the gate F, G, and H area. Um, so that, that will start to be um, constructed this fall, but pretty much wrapped up through the middle of the football season, and then the crane will move over to that side of the building, be disassembled, brought over to the other side of the building, and put in place over there. We're putting on a 40 to 50 year roof that can withstand the worst 200 year storm, right? It just, it's just, it's a roof that stays up forever. No different than any large roof, a roof on any big, big, big building. So that's great for everybody, because this is a one time, you know, opportunity that we're doing it right. The university's doing it beyond right. We're, we're doing this is a great job um, I think the fans when they come in the door um, the first time they come to a night game are going to be blown away um, the partners we have that are working with um, from a from a lighting perspective and um, the sound and um, the video are people are going to really 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 be happy it's, it's an awesome going to be an awesome experience you